Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about how to properly care for dogs. But first, I want everyone to close their eyes. Now, imagine you're walking in your neighborhood and on the side of the road you see a dog. As you approach the dog, you see a couple things wrong. You can tell they're very sick, you can see their ribs, and overall you can tell they're very unhealthy. Now, imagine a happy, healthy dog, a dog running in a field, wagging their tail with their tongue out. Now open your eyes. You can tell which dog was properly cared for and which dog that wasn't properly cared for. That's why today I'm going to tell you the basic needs you need to know to properly care for your dog. First, I'm going to be talking about the type of exercises you need to know, the type of food dogs should and shouldn't eat and why, and lastly, how to clean and groom your dog. Now that we've gone over these three main topics, let's start with our first one. In a slideshow I made, I have a picture of a dog running in a field. Exercise is a main part of keeping a dog healthy. It keeps their bones strong and it keeps their blood pressure low. In an article posted on June of 2015 called the Better Health Channel, they tell us the breed of dogs as well as its level of fitness and age will also decide how long and how various we should be walking our dogs. Not only is this good to know, but also it's good to know for the owner as well so they get some exercise. Now, I know people are very busy so if you have no time to walk your dog, as long as you have a field where a dog can run and throw the ball, that's all you need. Dogs love to play catch. Especially with me, I personally like playing games with my dogs if I don't want to take them out on a walk, so I play hide and go seek. And next, if you like a one-on-one -on -one contact with your dog, wrestling or play fighting is the way to go. This keeps the dog moving around and staying active and you and your dog can have a great bond. Now that we talked about exercise, let's move on to the types of food that are good and bad for dogs. As you see here in my PowerPoint, I have a picture of chocolate and dog food. An article updated April 22nd of 2019 called the Facty Health, they explain the top 10 foods that are bad for dogs. Have you ever wondered why chocolate was so bad for dogs? Well, Neil says it is a chemical that disrupts dogs' metabolisms, which can lead to diarrhea, vomiting, seizures, heart problems, and death. Not only is chocolate bad for dogs, but also grapes and raisins. While they're healthy for humans, it contains, for dogs, it contains an unknown substance that is very toxic and can lead to kidney failures for dogs. Now, instead of the unhealthy ways to hurt your dog, here are the healthy ways. On April 22nd, 2020, NBC News by Jessica Magala said that premium dog food will include meat for protein, vegetables, fruit, and omega. These things are all great for dogs. These keep them healthy and active. Moving on to my last topic, let's talk about cleaning and grooming. Here in my last picture is a PowerPoint of a dog being bathed. Now, in an article called RSPCA Pet Insurance, they give you a guide to properly groom and bathe your dog. Depending on the dog, you can bathe them weekly to monthly or to whenever is necessary. When you're bathing your dog, you should look for cuts in the paws, eyes, ears, and mouths. Or not only cuts, but anything that's unusual on your dog. PSPCA Pet Insurance also said to bathe your dog, you should go through these steps. Brushing them, water, washcloth, cotton balls, shampoo, conditioner, massaging them, and lastly, towel, and if they've been good, to treat them. Grooming your dog just depends on what type of dog hair you have. If your dog has long hair, short hair, or if it's puppy hair. For an example, a poodle has very high maintenance hair. It can be up to weekly to monthly to take care, to bathe and groom a poodle's hair, when a Sharpay could be whenever is necessary. Today, I've gone over the proper ways to care for dogs. I've explained certain ways to exercise, I've gone over how, what is good and bad food for dogs and why. And lastly, I explained how to clean and groom your dog. Next time you see a dog, think about the proper ways it takes to care for them. Remember, dogs are just like kids. They take up most of your time. So remember, when you're ready for your next dog, make sure you are committed. And for my last picture in my slideshow, 
Here is a proper dog that is happy with their family. Thank you.